my room is a mess. Ignore it. I had to dig around to find all my makeup. Today, I thought I would do a favorite products of summer. I can't remember what day officially ends summer and begins fall. I feel like it's already here or it's about to be here, one of the two. Regardless, I live in hell, so I'm going to have summer for at least another month. But I thought I would do my favorite products of summer. I have a lot, but a lot of them are kind of clumped together, you know what I mean? These were the items I found myself using the most this summer or that kind of really got me through the summer. So yeah. I didn't do makeup or anything today, I just did my brows, but whatever. Two of my favorite products are from ColourPop. This summer I found myself using these two eyeshadows a lot. They were just really great summer colors and they're one of my favorite eyeshadows just in general. I love the colors of them. They were limited edition. It is Mermaid Kiss and Pop Rocks. They are both their Super Shock shadows. So they're those like weird cream but not cream shadows. I really love them. The Pop Rocks is like a blue and purple base in there with little tiny pieces of like a pink looking color, but it comes out a very soft blue. And Mermaid Kiss has blue, green, and a little yellow in it, and it comes up as like this really nice pretty mermaid green. I like to use the eyeshadows together. For summer it worked really well. I love ColourPop. If you've never used one of their shadows, I would definitely suggest going and getting one of their shadows. I also have two mascaras from NYX. They are basically the exact same one, except they are different colors. I have one in blue and one in purple. I love colored mascara, like insane love colored mascara. I feel like theirs are just one of the best colored mascaras I tend to find. A lot of the other ones are okay, but I like those ones. They're just easy to put on and they're easy to deal with and they're not super expensive. Then I have two more mascaras. They are from Too Faced. They are the Better Than Sex, the Regular, and the Waterproof. I like having both of them. I feel like it's nice, especially in the summer, because you never know when you're going to go swimming or get wet, so you want the waterproof. And then this regular for everyday stuff. The applicator is amazing. It's that nice hourglass shape. It's just my favorite mascara in general, and it was basically all I wore this summer as far as mascara goes. The next thing that is my favorite is the Maybelline Master Camo. It is a green concealer. Now, I did recently go cruelty-free. So some of the items in here may or may not be cruelty free and that's okay. Anything that's not cruelty free, when I use it up, I will not be repurchasing. So if some of them are mixed up, no, I am still doing the cruelty free thing. These are just things that I use this summer or I still have, you know what I mean? I really like this. It had like a nice little brush applicator thing, which I would usually just stick on and then rub in with my beauty blender, but I feel like it works really well. I was using it pretty often when I wanted my face to kind of be a neutral color. And this item I got from an Ipsy bag, it is the Chella Ivory Lace Highlighter Crayon. I didn't think I'd really enjoy this when I first got it, but I've been using it pretty often. I really like it. I've been working on doing my brows better, and this kind of helps a lot to be able to go under it and fix them up a little bit. And then I have a brush from e.l.f. It is their small angle brush. Mine's a little messed up. I really love this brush. I actually use it as an eyebrow brush to apply my eyebrow powders and things like that. I like it. It's nice and tiny. I honestly feel like I do better with eyebrows with a really, really small brush. I probably could even get a brush smaller than this and still be okay. I really love the brush. I believe the brush is only $3, so it's definitely worth it. And then my other favorite brush, this has become one of my favorite brushes in my collection, which may sound ridiculous because it's a highlighter brush. <laughs> But I contour with it. Somebody had told me that it's easier to contour with these if you want like a nice soft natural contour. And this thing does it amazing. So I use this for my highlighter and my contouring. This brush is from Mariana. I do not know how much it is. I got it for free when I started my esthetician school. But I really love this brush. I also have a lip product from NYX. It is the Butter Lipstick in the shade Lifeguard. It is like a nice red color. It's slightly deeper than a regular red. I really love it. It's nice and creamy because it's a butter. And so I feel like it doesn't dehydrate your lips, which are already really dehydrated and dry in the summer. I wear this a lot. And then another item that I thought I would absolutely hate when I got my Ipsy bag. And for those of you who watch all my Ipsy bag videos, which you should be watching anyways, I kind of was not excited in the video. I think I actually said I didn't like this product. It's from Jelly Pong Pong. It is the Coffee Coconut Lip Scrub. I wasn't impressed with it. It smells nice. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like coffee and coconut mixed together, and I just was not impressed with it for some reason. 
But after I let it sit for like a month or two and started using it, something about it is addicting. I always use it. I use it a lot to exfoliate my lips. And then you just like eat it off or wipe it off, whatever you want to do. And because of the coconut oil in it, I feel like it hydrates your lips a little bit better than just a regular sugar would. I'm addicted to it. I would definitely see myself buying it again. Another product. I don't think I had this one the whole summer because it did come in an Ipsy bag. It came in my uh, Glutatama Ipsy bag. But it's the Hemp Lip product. Obsessed. I use this thing almost every single night. I love it. When I run out, I'm going to cry, and then I'm going to buy more. It's one of my favorite products, like, ever. And then another thing I've become pretty addicted with this summer is the Clinique Redness Solutions Daily Protective Base. And there is SPF in it, which is always nice to have some extra SPF in your primer. Unfortunately, it is not cruelty-free, so I will not be buying this again. But Dermalogica, thankfully, does have a green primer, and so I'll just switch over to their green primer when I run out of this. I still have a decent amount in here though, so it'll be a while, but I do really enjoy this product. It's just a green primer, so you put it on before you do your makeup and it gets you primed, but it also is some extra green color correcting. So when I use this and my green color corrector and my foundation, I usually get a really nice base that's just nice and neutral and not colored. This is probably one of my favorite makeup items that I own at all, ever. It is the Mica Beauty Cosmetics Highlighter Number 3. I do not know if they're cruelty-free. If they're not cruelty-free, I'm probably going to cry. And then I'm going to need some dupes for them. I am addicted to this highlighter. It is a loose powder. I'm sorry, I don't want to tip it and spill it because I'll cry. This shit's expensive. It's just a beautiful... You can see the powder coming up. <laughs> it's just a beautiful gold highlighter. It's my favorite highlighter in the world. I just kind of want to bathe in it and have my whole body come out covered in this glitter. I love sparkly highlighter. I don't really love the dull, like, I know highlighters are supposed to be, like, lifting it so it's not supposed to be too crazy, but I want glitter. I want glitter highlighter, and this, this has some sparkle in it. Another brand that I am very into, and they are cruelty-free, thank God, is Hikari. I got this in an Ipsy bag as well. It's another cream pigment. It kind of reminds me of the ColourPop shadows because it's cream, but like it doesn't feel super creamy. And the shade I got was called Latte. It's my favorite, favorite eyeshadow. I'm not going to do swatches. If you want to swatch this, go watch my Ipsy videos. They're all in there. It's beautiful. It comes out as just this beautiful brown with like a gold color shift in it. And it's so pretty and it's long wearing. It lasts all day. It's my favorite. Sometimes I'll even wear it with one of the ColourPop shadows, like a blue or something. Like if I don't want to go all blue, I'll use this shadow. So I have a little bit of blue in like the middle of my lid and then this is in like the outer corner. And it's just really pretty. It goes well with everything. And another item I got from Ipsy that I was not excited when I got. It was the Tarte Maracuja Oil. I don't know if I said that right, but who cares. I was like, whatever, it's oil. I don't even remember how I reacted on camera, but I know I was not too excited about this. I didn't know what to do with it, really. And then everything I looked up to do with it, I was just like, eh, whatever. But we all know I have really sensitive skin. And if you look this up, it's actually an anti-inflammatory. And it has a lot of soothing properties. And so I have been using this in place of my calming serums recently. And this is doing wonders for my skin. I wake up in the morning and I'm pink, not red. I'm not quite as splotchy. It's amazing. I'm over halfway through it. I'm going to cry when I run out of it. I use this day and night. I know on the bottle it says to use it at night. I've been using it day and night. My skin's really dry, so I can do that with the oils. I'm definitely going to have to get some more of this when it's out. I'm in love with it. Like, hands down, one of the best things I've put on my face in a long time. Another item, this may have even popped up in my favorites video for the year of last year. I'm not really sure. I can't remember. <laughs> that was a weird period of life where I was drugged up from my elbow surgery and stuff. But this is the Aura Cassia Essential Oil in the Scent Renew. Obsessed. If I put it in the video last year, well, I'm still obsessed with it. I constantly am um, using this. I've had to buy more. I'm going to have to buy more again soon. It's it's pretty low. I use it a lot. It has like pine in it and different citruses. And something about it is just super 
calming and relaxing. It's my favorite essential oil ever. This is also from Ipsy. Apparently, I have a trend of really loving Ipsy products I get, even if I didn't love them the day I opened them. Because this is another Ipsy item. It is the It Hair Care 12 in 1 Amazing Serum. It's a no frizz repair serum. I really love it. I put it in my hair, God, probably at least twice a week, depending. If it's like really soft and doing nice, then I don't. But if it starts to feel a little dry or anything, then I start sticking it in my hair once or twice a week. And it's amazing. On my Instagram, I had posted a picture one time of my hair, and it was a three months difference. And my hair was just straw-like and poofy and disgusting, and then three months later it was soft and pretty, and I didn't cut any of it. And that was it. I switched my shampoo, but I was also using this. And this stuff is amazing. It makes my hair so soft, and it smells like candy. It's amazing. Another favorite item, it's kind of always been a favorite item, but this summer it's just been especially useful, is the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. This is the little bottle of it. I have a big bottle in my bathroom, but I didn't want to grab it, so I just grabbed one of my little bottles. I have a lot of these. I have a big bottle for my bathroom, and then I have three or four little tiny ones. I keep it in my gym bag. I keep one in my bedroom. I just have them everywhere in case I need them. It is an oil cleanser but it is actually meant for all skin types. So if you're oily, you can still use it. And actually, it's recommended that people who are oily especially use this. It is called pre-cleanse because you're supposed to use it before your regular cleanser. It is oil, so it will attract oil and things like that. It'll grab onto the oil, dirt, and makeup on your skin and take it off so your actual cleanser's ingredients can work more efficiently on your skin. Pre-cleanse is pretty awesome. You stick it on your face as the oil, you rub it around, you can see your makeup just like bleed off with it. It's awesome. And then you wet it and it turns like a milky white emulsion. You rub it around, get everything off, wipe it off, and then you use your next cleanse. It's one of my favorite products. I've stuck it on a Q-tip before even to get like gel liner off from in here. And I always get just a little on my fingers and rub it on my lashes really gently to take off my mascara and none of my lashes fall out from doing that. It's a really good product. I love it. If you were ever thinking of purchasing it, you should check it out. And another Dermalogica item, because I'm a little Dermalogica obsessed, is their multi-active toner. Normally, I had always been into the Ultra Calming Toner, because my face is so red, or the Antioxidant Hydra Mist Toner, which I do love. It smells amazing. But I had a bottle of this from school, and it's kind of become my favorite, because there's still some calming ingredients in here. You're still getting, like, your lavender and cucumber and things like that that can help bring down my redness and calm it a little bit. But it just, it's very nice. I have to keep it in my fridge, and then I just strips my face with it. I do it constantly throughout the day. Before I apply my uh, oil or my moisturizer, I do it. Before I mask, I do it. I do it before I do my makeup, after I do my makeup. All day I am spraying my face with this stuff. It's almost out. I'm going to have to buy more soon. Which sucks. But I need to make sure I always have it. And it smells really great. I've actually got it in my mouth a couple times and it doesn't taste amazing. But it also tastes kind of good. Like lavender You know what I mean? I don't know. I like it. And then my last item. And then my last item for summer. This thing has saved me. I will never ever live without owning one of these again. It is... Like a Hydra, I think the other brand is Hydra Flask. This one is called 5050. It's one of those vacuum insulated stainless steel bottles. I'm in love with it. My bottle is 40 ounces. You can get bottles that are like liters, 60 ounces, 8 ounces, 16 ounces. They make tons of sizes, tons of colors. When I bought mine, they didn't have pink, and now they have pink, and I want to cry because I need it. They come with a twist off originally, so you have to twist it off and drink it out of the bottle. But now they do have these little guys, so you just take that original lid off, and you put this here, so you have like a nice straw. When you put your water in here cold, or I, like I've put ice in here before, and I live in Phoenix, so we all know it's really hot here. I've put ice in here, and two and a half days, three-ish days later, there's still some ice in here. This thing's amazing. It keeps everything cold. You could put stuff in it, too, to keep it hot if you wanted to, but I usually use it to keep water cold. I can't drink water unless it's cold. I just can't drink room temperature water. It's disgusting. It reminds me of like getting a water bottle that's been left in your car in the summer. And I don't like it. So that bottle is amazing. It is my favorite thing in the world. I do not care if they jacked the price up to $100. I would be finding a way to make sure I had it. I actually want to buy some more bottles. Just so that when I wash it, it has more time to kind of sit and air itself out. 
and then I don't go right back into using it because I do use it at home. I use it at home. I take it to work. I take it everywhere with me. Where I go, that bottle goes. So I kind of want to buy two or three more and then I can get different colors. And it's really amazing for going to the gym too, especially because it's so big. If you're thinking of buying one, you should. There's other brands even too. Hydro Flask is one and I don't really know any of the other brands, but there's quite a few of them. But yeah, those were my favorite items for this summer. I kind of had a lot, but you know, whenever. I don't really do favorite videos a lot. Usually I just do them once a year. And so I thought it would be kind of cool to start doing a favorites video seasonally and then do a year video maybe too. You know what I mean? Then it's like, oh, this is what got me through summer. This is what got me through winter. This is my favorite thing of the year. So that might be what I do. But I thought it would be fun to do a summer video because especially here, I definitely experience full-blown summer living in Phoenix, sadly, that I live here. But yeah, let me know if you've tried any of these items before. Let me know if you like them or not. And otherwise, I will see you guys Tuesday. Bye.